What's up, Zach like the Hacker, bringing you another episode of How To Battlefield. Um, this is my uh, Battlefield, or better, better Field series, if you haven't been watching my other ones. Um, this is basically a series on how to be better at Battlefield, using the different support classes and also different stuff that I'll be getting into once I'm done with these classes. Um, so what you want to first start off with is you want to figure out which one you want to do. Uh, whenever you're a beginner, which is what I pretty much am in this. Um, this, I would not recommend. This, I would recommend. Um, Claymore is basically, um, actually, you know what? Let me just show you. So, what Claymores do is they basically just do this. Like, if you're, um, like, you're gonna be in a, um, like, a pretty, like, high level battlefield, then you're going to want to do one of two things with these. Oh, this is where I got killed last time. This is where I got killed with how to med or anything. If you didn't watch that video, go ahead and watch that. It's a really great uh, tutorial or uh, just information or instruction video on how to better at the medic class. But anyways, on with this one, um, what I want to talk about in this one is... I really want to focus on like the things that people don't usually do, um, and that is do strategic, um, and also, um, there's, there's basically tons of things that you should be doing, like ways you can play in Battlefield in general, doesn't matter what class you're in, and that is strat strategy or strategic planning, um, and just overrunning the enemy with those strategies. So what you want to do is, um, so if you're in a uh, pretty crowded hallway, like an operation locker, you know, not an operation locker, then you want to, if you're going with, uh, your this is an attack, um, this is a ammo, uh, this is an ammo, yeah, this is ammo, um, basically what this does is if, if you are, Stuff and wow, I should have got killed there. No, I did get killed there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so, um, really low on, um, so. If you're really low on any like on ammo, which is what I usually do, so I'm just gonna waste all my ammo here. Um, then what you could do is let's run out of ammo. So you're gonna be running, right? There's no ammo. Let's just say this one's empty to run. I don't know if you like good doing this again. Too lazy to do that. Um, so if you want to do this, then what you want to do is if you want to do just for you, and if it's in a fairly large area, then you can easily re-do everything, and then yeah, it'll re replenish your ammo uh, supply. That's a pretty easy point to get, even if you're, even if you're brand new to the game, like this series is a very difficult tool if you're a battlefield player. Then hey, this is always a good thing to do. Like if you play all this time, then all hey, units, this is a great thing to do. So what you want to also do is claymores. And they take claymores and they come out technically. Um, what they do is unlike in Battlefield 3, where literally they will do this and they will just like they they won't even do the, they won't even do the strings that just went out. But in this one, in Battlefield 4, they will do these things, and this Claymore itself, this thing, does not do anything. The strings, if I was an enemy, I would get killed by going through these strings. Um, it is very, very easy to very strategically put this somewhere. Like, you could put it right here. You could put it, like, say, you can't really see the Claymore if you're over here. But if you're just very clueless, or if you're just very uncareful, then you could very easily do that, and 
for you, um, you would be, uh, if you're the enemy, you're going out of luck. Wow, okay. <clears throat> so, what you want to do, um, with another thing, uh, I really don't have anything, do I? Hmm, hand flare, what is that? That's weird. Um, of course you also want to go, um, if you're, let's see, armor, cover, flat quick. So if you're the kind of person that is worried about yourself and not, like, and, and not, like, doing it, like, if you're a noob, you want to start off with a f defensive, or shadow maybe but shadow's only good if you already know how to sort of like because defensive is only good if you're a really easy target like if you easily stand out from any of from every other person then defensive is the way to go but if you're going like offensive that's if you're a true like battlefield master or just any person that knows Battlefield more than noobs do. Um, so, and also, camos don't matter. I'm just gonna go with chocolate chip. Because I like cookies. Um, so, I think that's it for this video. Well, if I can only think about other things. Um, but of course, I don't want to just talk about the... Really, can I not freaking spawn anywhere? Fine, let's go. Um, so, unlike Battlefield 3, the support class does not come with uh, C4 explosives or extra stuff. If you're a fan of Neeps Gaming, you'll get that reference. If not, then check them out. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Um, if not, then I'll just put his uh, thing up. And actually, no, just just, just check out Neebs Gaming. Um, crap. Uh, you want to watch out for those things. Um, especially uh, if you're a noob, and if you don't, or if you're not a very good hider, and if you're usually getting hit by tanks, you, of course, it's just common sense. But, like, to be quite, like, honest, it's, to me, it's very hard to run away from those things just because they're just always there and you can almost never run away from them, especially in Dragon Valley, I think, because I don't know why they're just not enough cover. And also, um, so I guess support really doesn't have anything to do with, um, it's just another uh, class, but I have no idea what else to talk about, so. I'm gonna have to end it. I have eyes on a hostile uh, tank west of your check location. Out other how to on the battlefields or how to's on Battlefield 4. Check those out. Um, links will not be in the description because I am too lazy to do much on the computer. Recording up like this for right now. So, um, absolutely check those out. It's great tips. If you are a noob, it's always okay to admit it. You know, I'm a noob too. Of course, you can see that from my videos, but I do have great tips. Even though I do not use them all the time because I have instincts, you could possibly be better about it by watching my videos. I don't guarantee anything, but I guarantee that there is a possibility that you would be colonel in a week if you do my, uh, if you actually go through with my stuff. Then I can guarantee you that there is a possibility. If you put in the effort, and if you really watch the videos, no under yeah, our so this is it for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more content. Um, my Twitter's up now, so if you want to check that out, I don't have the app in my phone because it drains the battery so much. And lags my phone up. My phone doesn't have that good RAM. It's like a good GoPro pretty much. It's like. It's a ZTE, but it's, um, it's, uh, pretty, uh, so, if you want 
to um, watch my video, of course, um, or like, comment if you want, if you want to give me some tips of um, tips that you know. Of course, it's a Battlefield community, everyone helps each other, you can always help me. Of course, I probably need help, but I can't hear for you guys too for uh, more content, so more content of other games coming out pretty soon, maybe especially uh, coming out with more content. Maybe not during the week as much. During the week, it's kind of a hit and miss because of school and everything else that we do. So be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Uh, this is Dr. Hats, I'm out.